Hello everyone, welcome back to Shomus Biology and in this particular lecture I am going to provide you some tips which is going to be very very helpful for the next day examination. So the exam is all already knocking the door and uh, kal exam hai. So exam se pehle kaun kaun si tips follow karna chahi? How to get yourself ready and prepared mentally and be positive about your examination. So here are some tips just for you. The very first thing is that verify your center details, exam center details. Baud baar kya hota hai, log center details ko proper, properly verify nahi karte hai. So you need to verify the details because you need to plan your route. Basically you need to plan your route, your travel time, calculate that and accounting the traffic and all the other conditions. Now, generally the exam is on the weekend. So when it is in the weekend, the traffic conditions are not that bad. But in the weekdays, just like this exam is in the weekday and especially if the exam is on Monday, the traffic is little, little more, little more crowded. You are going to get in the public transports. So in that case, uh, that is something you need to do. If you are going to catch a Uber or, or, or a Ola or any other cab services, you might not get it in the time frame. So always keep time in your hand. So you need to verify your center and plan your route. This is a tip number one. Now tip number two is that gather and organize all the essential items that you need to carry in your backpack right in your backpack there should be admit card there should be ID proof and also keep if the admit card is printed in black and white then take a color photograph if possible same as uploaded there in the in the admit card so keep that colored photograph keep your ID proof keep your uh, admit card printed copies uh, other card driving license passport any of this can work as an id proof then carry the stationary kit all although it's a like cbt mode but carry a like a pencil or a ballpoint pen uh, these things just carry them and third thing any permitted items you know for different examinations if you are watching this video for other exams also for different examination there are some permitted items and there are some uh, non-permitted items so you need to carry the permitted items whatever permitted you get it and get obviously a bottle of water it's very important that you have water with you it makes a difference so gather all these things and pack it one uh, day prior so by tonight you are going to pack these things for tomorrow now the third thing is that you need to be familiar with the technical uh, issues technical parameters now technical parameters means uh, the, the exam is uh, going to be conducted in CBT mode in the CBT mode uh, it's not like the offline mode that where you have a pencil or pen and you fill the uh, fill the bubbles no it's not like that it is going to be selection of the questions online in the computer screen and second thing is that on-screen calculators uh, will be given so you need to calculate things using on-screen calculator now it makes a difference when you have calculators in hand we know it's very easy to calculate right we just uh, buttons are out there you just type it in it's, it's fast it's easier because we are habituated to do that as a science graduate students but uh, to do that the same thing in the in the online mode of the calculator it takes some time so you need to practice it couple of times all we have the calculators in the laptop and desktop you can try and practice that that's going to save some amount of time believe me now tip number four is all about health and rest because i'm not going to talk about study today because just one day before the examination i rarely talk about study it's about keeping your health to the top notch ship right you should have a good night's sleep although the exam will be on 9 a.m so reporting time will be 7 a.m so you need to get early and reach there by 7 a.m and uh, you know uh, if you ask me that i i should reach there by 6 30 a.m because uh, taking like keeping one 30 minutes before it's 30 minutes in your hand is always a good idea so for that you need to wake up early so you need to sleep early today uh, tonight basically and so I have a seven eight hours of sleep so calculate that and based on that you cut the mobile usage and all these things and get back to sleep don't overthink that what's going to happen and all uh, so have a decent night's sleep and have a balanced meal do not have junk food tonight kal kha lena yaar agar biryani khane ki man kare to kal kha lena aaj mat karna aaj raat ko koi normal si comfort food will be better for your health for your obviously mental health as well as physical health. Now tip number five is all about mindset and the stress busting elements. Now whatever bust your stress, like for different people it's different things. Generally many people will agree that listening to good music, BGMs and some soundtracks 
might help them so music therapy helps them a lot so 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 hear those listen to those and second thing is that you can also watch something light headed comedy or something which will keep you separated from the rest of the negative thought the main idea here is to get rid of the negative thought and also uh, you need to do the breathing exercises whenever you feel stressed take a full deep breath and in that way it's going to release the stress and believe me it happens it it, it helps all the time so you do that it's going to help you out definitely now tip number 6 is that during the exam day uh, the buffer time that you need to reach in on the exam basically the reporting time is 2 hours prior to the exam but i would suggest you to get in there 2 and a half hours prior to the exam for that purpose calculate the traffic calculate the conditions the time taken you can easily do that using google maps based on that you arrange uh, your uh, movement and you arrange your uh, schedule now second thing is that uh, whenever you are entered uh you you are allowed to enter into into the, the the room where the exam is going to be you know your seat you put everything in your desk now you, if you need to go to the toilet then go there use it uh it's my personal preference that during these examinations of 2 to 3 hours uh, we are all adults and we 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 can keep it up for 2 to 3 hours we don't need to get into the uh, bathroom and places uh, for that but so that's my personal opinion that do not waste even 5 minutes even if you uh, it's a very important exam 2 minutes 5 minutes will matter a lot so 5 minutes can help you to solve two part sequence questions even right so i will not uh, waste my time to go go into the bathroom in this kind of examinations it's not a semester system exam so try to get things done before you initially sit for the exam so make it uh, clear at the at the beginning so that that, that helps this this little a uh, time uh, that you'll get is going to count a lot now uh, the tip number 7 is uh, during the exam day again how exactly you're going to tackle the question remember two things the question that you're going to see you attend the question part c first then part a then part b or part a first then part c then part b keep part b for the last 30 minutes part c should take maximum time that's 2 hours part a another 25 minutes 20 to 25 minutes part b is also 20 to 25 minutes and you will get 10 minutes in your hand for a quick revision that which question you left which question you might uh, consider again right so these things that you can do so that's the typical approach that you should do and remember one thing in the cbt mode of examination there might be uh, problems like internet uh, connection slow server problems some uh, glitches in the exam all that happens every single session now it depends whether it will happen to you or not but it might happen the uh, depend on the center to center uh, variation now one more thing is that part c questions are sometimes much much bigger so you need to scroll through the question to understand to to get a full idea about the question full idea about the big picture of the question that you need to do so these things need to be done uh, so you need to be very much accustomed with all this should know that part c question will be bigger and you need to scroll through the full question to understand that so when you are reading the question keep yourself focused don't look at others what others are thinking or what others are doing focus on your work as a educator as 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 a educator i can tell you one thing is that during the examination you are going to be focused into the screen right your eyes will be stick to the screen no matter what you are seeing the questions and you are dealing with the question that that's all that matters and that's all it is okay now time management is an important part for time management i told you to go with part c first then part a then part b because starting with b will not help because b have direct uh, questions part c is something is better to be done in the fresh mind fresh mood it helps you to do that but even part b let's you attend part b and part b did not work well for you then you have a setback in your brain and that will not allow you to think positively for part c questions so that's why part c a b or part a c and b that's the better approach now the tip number 8 and the final tip of mine is that the exam day routine pre and post the pre routine is that while you're traveling uh, remember one thing that uh, you know travel uh, time it should not engage in any kind of mi- like miscommunication or any kind of matlab jhamele mein nahi padna hai bhai exam ke din hai keep your brain clean keep your mind clean do, do not कहीं पे भी अगर कोई फसड़ होता है कहीं पे किसी के साथ झमेला होने की कोशिश है तो उसको अवॉइड कर लेना बिकॉज दैट डे इज मैटर्स द मोस्ट टू यू नॉट माइट बी इट्स नॉट दैट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर दैट अदर पर्सन सो मेक दैट थिंग वन सेकेंड थिंग इज दैट द पोस्ट एग्जाम रूटीन वंस यू हैव सबमिटेड टेक अ फ्यू मिनट्स रिलैक्स ब्रीद द टाइम इज डन द थिंग इज डन द वर्क इज ओवर नाउ इफ 
your work is good enough to fetch your rank you will get a rank if it's not good enough to fetch your rank you will not get a rank but it's not the end of the world you are going to get another chance uh, to get jrf you might get another chance to get ls always because there is no age limit for ls lectureship and uh, whatever thing you did you will understand the whether it works good for you it will not like whether it worked good for you and haven't worked good for you so whatever it is it should reflect in uh, your next ranges of uh, preparation right next ranges of uh, uh, preparation so in the next preparation you are going to get in you can prepare them very well right because you know that where you did uh, mistakes right where where were the mistakes where you did wrong so you know uh, those mistakes and you need to fix the mistakes in the next examination that's what you should do from the next day onwards but for now you are you have done enough take rest get back to home again relax chill and if you think you will fail this time then obviously uh, you start new preparation how to start csnet preparation if you want to know about that there is a video on this in this channel in this new playlist it's available you can watch that it's going to help you to start your preparation and if you want someone to help you through this journey then you can join shamus biology the coaching program continues and we will take the students uh like we always take the students after the examination 20 such uh, seats are always present for the exam related students to be enrolled so you can always join shomus biology online coaching the details are there in the, the description as well as in our website www.shomusbiology.com or you can contact us at 9804654228 okay so i see you there and all the very very best uh for your upcoming csnet examination let me know uh how was the paper in the comment section about the examination thank you bye